In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on a Dell Optiplex 9010 using the free DOS option on Rufus. On the screen now are the steps that we're going to follow. Let's get started. So I'm booting up the Optiplex 9010 into the BIOS because I just want to check what version of the BIOS we currently have. Now we can see here on the screen that the BIOS version is A13. Okay, I'm going to switch off the Optiplex 9010 now. I'm now going to go onto the Dell website and download the BIOS update tool for the Dell Optiplex 9010. So there we go to dell.co.uk. I will accept all the cookies, go to support and drivers and downloads. Then in identify your product I will put in Optiplex 9010. It's just the basic Optiplex 9010. Use that and I want to find specific drivers for this model. I'm going to change the operating system type to just to BIOS and we see here that we've got the Dell Optiplex BIOS tool here. I'm going to tick it to select it and then click download selected And you can see it's downloading a file here. That download is completed. So if I close the browser, and if we have a look in my downloads folder, we can see it's downloaded this file here, which is the BIOS update tool. The next stage is to insert a USB key, which I can use to create a bootable USB key from. That's it in there. It's gone into drive E and it's currently empty. I'm going to start up a tool called Rufus which I've got in directory C colon backslash Rufus. Run it by typing rufus.exe Now it's showing that I've got the device uh, in drive E. It's uh, quite a small USB key, just one gig. And for the boot selection, I'm going to, from this drop down menu, select free DOS. I'm then going to click start. It warns me that everything on the USB will be erased. Make sure if that's okay. it's finished so close Rufus close this let's go back and look at the USB key now and we see now it's got some files on it and it's actually a bootable USB key now now um, if I go to my downloads folder right click and copy on the BIOS update tool go back to the USB key right click and paste it onto the USB key, effectively get it copied there. Close the file explorer and now I can eject the USB key. Okay, I've inserted the USB key into the Optiplex 9010, switched on the Optiplex and I've been pressing the F12 key that will take us into the one time boot menu because we want to boot from that USB key that we've just created. So we've got the USB storage device being offered as a boot device. So if I highlight that and press enter, it will boot from the USB key. 
we've got the choice of which keyboard language. I'll just let it time out to use the UK keyboard. And now we've got our DOS prompt. And if I enter the directory command, we can see that we've got our BIOS update tool there. It's the file called that begins at 09010. So we'll run the BIOS update tool. It says it's going to update things. Are we sure that we want to continue? I am sure. I'm going to press Y. So here we know that we've currently got the version A13 installed and we're going to update to A30 and those are the versions of the various uh, subsystems within the BIOS that it's going to update. So I shall press Y again. So it prepares the update and then it's going to reboot the system and during the reboot the BIOS update will run. So now the BIOS is being flashed and we see the warning message in red there, updating your system's firmware, do not power down your system, very important. So the system is now about to reboot, so I'm going to press the F2 key to go back into the BIOS and we can check that the version has actually updated. We were on A13, we're hoping to get to A30. So we can see now that the BIOS version has been successfully updated to A30, A30. So let's exit the BIOS. and I will let the system boot normally. And that's the system successfully booted. And that's the upgrade complete. Thank you for watching.